Welcome to another episode of Air Traffic Out of Control, the podcast bringing you the best, most interesting, and most unbelievable air traffic control recordings, right from the tower to your ears. I'm your host, Amy Tango Charlie. In this episode, we go paranormal. Piedmont Flight 5795 radios the tower with an inquiry, but not your normal navigation-related query. He is seeing some mysterious lights in the sky and is trying to figure out if the tower can explain it. The controllers call out to some other nearby aircraft to see if they are seeing this unexplained phenomenon. Piedmont 5795, go ahead. Piedmont 5795, go ahead. Just curious, do you have anything in front of us about 50, 60 miles? Uh, your guy 26, or what are, you, what are you looking for? Well, you're going to think I'm crazy. There's something that just went from right to left to right in a blink and then flashed his lights three or four times and vanished. Okay, well, I had an airplane cross uh, from right to left, uh, E-175, and now there's another one, a 777 up there, high off the right side, that's descending to 28. That might be those two aircraft, I'm not sure. Uh, this thing went 180 degrees in like a second. Oh, goodness. Uh, all right. Yeah, let me know if you see it again. We'll make a report. <laughs> no, that's all right, mate. That's, you know, one of that things. Jazz 898, contact Boston Center on 125.57. 25.57, Jazz 897, good night. Yeah. P1 5795, anything else you want to talk about? Are you good? 5705 seconds, sir. Didn't know if you wanted to uh, give any more details or you're good. Um, uh, well, the details, it literally went from one coast to the other. Uh, in front of us, and then it went up like 30 degrees, turned off its lights, or whatever it had. It looked like it's a bright orangey thing, and then since we spoke to you last, it flashed us like three, four times, and it's still, we are still looking at it now. So, where, where is it roughly if, you were, if I was to give you a traffic call? Um, I would say probably 80, 60, 80 miles in front of us, and it looks like it's coming, I don't know, it's flashing towards us. But it is definitely not an aeroplane. It doesn't have the strobe lights or anything on it. It's just this bright orange going on and off. So you're saying about 12 o'clock, 60 to 80 miles? Uh, about 1 o'clock to from our present position, sir. So, yeah, there's one target up there. We'll call it 1 o'clock and 35 miles or so. The number here up at 37. But, yeah, we've got nothing else in front of you. Yep, this definitely wasn't an aeroplane. Uh, thank you. Contact Boston Center one two seven three seven. We'll uh, pass it along. One two seven three seven. Thanks, sir. Have a good one. Thank you, Boston Center seven ninety five. You guys still uh, seeing a strobe light out in front of you? Roger. Yeah, it started out at your altitude, then went up to fifty. It started out at level at your altitude, and then it went up uh, to like fifty thousand. Right. You're about 57,995. You said it's at your uh, 1 o'clock and up about 50,000. 3,269. Uh, it's your uh, 12 to 1 o'clock. Have you seen an orange uh, strobe light out there, uh, maybe uh, 20,000 feet above you or so? We're looking. And uh, what position would it be from where we're at? An aircraft a little bit further south said it was at their 1 o'clock and uh, it was at their altitude that went up to about 50, 55,000 feet. It was an orange strobe light going uh, on and off. We're looking. And that was 20,000 feet above us? Yeah, they was started at their altitude. They were down around uh, level 280, and then it went up, they said, to uh, about 55,000. Well, American 2689, disappointingly, we do not see an orange strobe 20,000 feet above us. American 2689, thank you. That's all for this episode of Air Traffic Out of Control. If you love the show, check out the show notes for a link to follow us on Twitter. Also, to make sure you don't miss an episode, be sure to follow or subscribe in your podcast player. Thanks for joining us on board today. Bye-bye.